Jesus calls us all into a deeper relationship in many different ways and many different times. I'm Father Doug Captain, pastor at St. Francis of Assisi Parish, and I invite you to recognize the Lord's call into a deeper relationship. For some people, they're not baptized, or perhaps if they were baptized as infants, they, they didn't have the opportunity to be raised in the faith, or they're baptized in another faith. It is these people that I want to invite today, if they're feeling that call for a deeper relationship, to consider here in the Catholic Church our faith formation program, Welcoming Adults into the Church. It's called RCIA, Right of Christian Initiation of Adults. It's a great journey. It's, it's a great faith formation program. Come together with other adults to, to study, to learn the traditions of the Catholic Church, as well as the teachings of the Catholic Church. It is in that formation time and that journey time that you choose to become a full member through baptism, through confirmation in the Catholic Church. So invite all, saints or sinners, regardless of color or creed or nationality, if God's moving you to a fuller, deeper relationship through the Catholic Church, invite you to come and check this out. Consider God's call in your life to a deeper and wider relationship through the Catholic Church. RCIA is a process made up of several phases. In the inquiry phase, you realize the first stirrings of the Lord calling you to conversion. The catechumenate phase is a time for you to enter into a small community of people just like yourself, bringing and longing for a seeking to know and understand the faith. It is a time of exploration, learning, and discovery. With the next phase of catechumens are deemed ready to be formally called to the sacraments of initiation, baptism, confirmation, and First Holy Communion. During these phases, you are part of a small community of seekers just like yourself, gathering to grow closer to God, learning the teachings of the Catholic Church and coming to an understanding of God's word through the scriptures. Hello, my name is Anna Malezova. I went through RCAA in fall of 2017. I used to bounce back and forth between going to Catholic Mass with my husband and his family and the Presbyterian Church where I was baptized. I remember sitting in Catholic Mass and asking him, why do you guys do this, and what's the meaning of that? And he would just tell me, well, that's how we do it. And that just wasn't answering any of my questions. I stopped going to the Presbyterian Church, and I can't explain the draw that I had to keep continuing to go to Catholic Mass, but I felt a desire to go to Mass. I would read the bulletins, and on one of the pages of the bulletins, it said, RCAA classes are starting soon. Do you want to become Catholic? And I remember asking my husband, what do you think? And you're probably asking, why did I ask him? But there was this little voice that I heard. I'd heard it before. And it said, you should do this. And it'll answer so many of your questions. And I also remember sitting at St. Francis of Assisi and always feeling like I was home. Through the RCAA program, I learned a lot about the Catholic faith. And it also left me hungering for even more. I joined a lot of groups through the different uh, programs that the Catholic Church offered to help continue my learning and feed that hunger. St. Francis of Assisi welcomed me with open arms, and my family grew, and I am truly home. Finally, you may be wondering what kind of time commitment is involved. We typically meet on Sunday mornings from September until Easter, though we do try to be flexible with everyone's unique schedules. And then at the Easter Vigil on the night before Easter, you will be fully received into the Catholic Church. If you or someone you know is interested in exploring the Catholic faith or want to know more about the RCIA process, please contact us at St. Francis of Assisi Parish. Mm -hmm.